also is machining brass screws on the shoreline. Um, my PM research engine came with some kind of ugly screws, so I wanted to make some new ones. I have a three cutter setup that I put on it and a really cheesy uh, Jacob's Chuck just for the fun of it. Um, the back side I've got the inverted life in the danger zone version of Sherline's uh, thread attachment and then I have an extension so that I can have it go the opposite way with the motor on there. Right now I'm just turning down the main diameter tried to get it so that all the cutters could fit and that's kind of the nice thing of not using a chuck or a uh, like a four jaw or three jaw chuck I have the extra room there the back side I just have to set the tension on the pitch diameters That uh, band-aid on my finger is not from the machine, it's from me smashing my finger in the car. But here you can see that um, I'm just very carefully running the spindle speed by hand. And it's nice because I can stop at just the right moment. You just don't want to turn it the wrong way and have it spin to its death. Threading attachment actually does pretty well. If I do really tiny screws, I can put a little bit of pressure with my finger if there's a little bit of an issue. But my favorite part is being able to stop it right at the precise point that I want. And then for the last stop, I just you know, use the parting tool and take out the screw. And I can just repeat the process for however many screws I need. I can just slide the 3 16 hex out, retighten it, and go to town. Thanks for watching.